All right, everyone, what is up? I hope you guys are all doing really well. Um, this is the continuation video or the video that is a result of kind of the survey that I took uh, probably a week ago or so. So anyways, I wanna thank you guys for all of your feedback and your comments and suggestions. Much, much appreciated. Cause a lot of times I think when people put out content it's like they're, they have a magic eight ball and they're taking suggestions off of a magic eight ball. And if I'm going to put something out there, I really want it to kind of something that you guys can really chew on and extract the juice out of, so to speak. And it's more about what people want to see versus what I think they want to see. So anyways, let's get into this. Um, I am going to be using the titanium stick 225 i'm running it off of a 75 foot extension cord and i'll i'll let me get you guys turned around and uh i'll kind of walk you guys through the process here um if you guys could please like comment and subscribe and help support the channel that would be awesome and much appreciated um let's get into this all right there's where i'm plugged in at that's a 20 amp circuit i got my air compressor plugged in right here also just so you know it's legit and then it goes down and up and all the way down to over there sorry i know this everything's a work in progress and an afterthought around here um anyways and then let me get you guys show you where i'm plugged in at all right so i'm plugged in off of a triple tap it is the largest gauge extension cord that Harbor Freight has. It's a 75 foot one. I bought the 100 footer and I've been really, really happy with it. I've actually run the titanium stick, no, the titanium 125 uh, little flux core wire gun. So here we are, we're set up, we're maxed out. Here is the KT Industries 1 8 inch 6011. Um, Here's what well, we'll start off on a clean plate with a groove in it. I put the groove in it just to kind of as like training wheels so I can, you know, get a, get off, you know, straight start. Uh, move up to a lap, go to a T. And then one of you guys suggested that um, I do a, a piece of square tubing off of um, some channel stock. I don't have any channel, but I do have a big piece of like quarter inch angle iron and some two by three, um, quarter inch um, tubing square tube and then to take it a step further to kind of close things off I have these pieces here um, I have them tacked up and feathered for um, our open root and kind of our in inductance test and I got three pieces here I've got one in the stand and so uh, um, let's uh, let's start uh, melting some rod sit tight By the way, this knife that I'm using, it's called a Vespa Ripper. It is a fun knife, trust me. All right, I like that. I like what I'm seeing. All right, this has got to be a nine mil bag, I think. It's a really nice heavy bag. I'm really... digging this case because um, it's impact resistant, it's semi-weather resistant, and um, it, it seems to you know, be pretty durable. So anyways, let's, uh, let's light up.
that is a little on the warm side of things, I'm not gonna lie. All right, let's take a closer look. Yeah, um, as, far to, as far as the um, striking capabilities, it seemed to just, you know kind of touch off really effortlessly. And that's, a, that's kind of a big selling point to me. Um, all right, let's, uh, let's get into a lap. I apologize again for my camera work. I'm not a, a cameraman. I failed that in high school. That one got away from me. That one, that last part where I, where I restarted, that is that is ugly. Um, but the rest of it got some, you know, really nice ripples going. Uh, let's get into a tee.
Not bad. Another thing too is that I want to bring to your attention is I did not warm up off camera or before I started this video. So this is, it's pretty raw. Um, all right, let me uh, get you guys set up for this here. So hold on one second. All right, what I think I'm gonna do is I think I'm going to start off here on the top, come down like this here, and then I'll have to bring you back to this side um, to do this here and then to come up on the other side. So far, I'm, I'm really kind of liking this stuff. You can tell it's just a little bit on the cool side, but still for 110 volts, I'm not going to complain. And then I apologize, the lighting is horrible. So um, it really kind of impressed me when the arc was strong enough to push the puddle up and to keep it from, you know, from, from sticking the rod or from, you know, making a mess out of things. And it still kind of came through um let's let's come up let's cut across the bottom right here like that and then go vertical with it and then see how it goes Got away.
Wow. All right. It got away from me there, but I was, it's still it's still like it. I was able to restrike and just keep going. All right, you guys, that is the downhill. That's the bottom. And that's like right there is where it got away and I had to restart. That's going uphill. You can see I got kind of a lot of undercut there. Um, it just cause I was, I was just, I think I was just staying in one place too long. And then there's the other part there. So a little boogery, but it, you know, I think it would work. All right, let's get into the open root stuff. All right, hey guys, my camera is running out of storage. So I'm gonna upload this section and then I'm going to upload um, the open root portion of this video. Um, in probably a, like in about 45 minutes to an hour or so. Um, so you're gonna have to watch that portion of it too. So I'll see you on the next one. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Peace out.